Now these guys, they just put this extension kit on, you get a phone call, the nozzle's pointing the wrong direction. It's pointing at the guy's driveway or it's pointing at a tree. Now you gotta go out and rotate the nozzle because when they put it back together, they just threw it on and rolled with it. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you adjust the nozzle. We're gonna turn this. So what you wanna do again, safety first, shut off the water, break open the cap, open the hydrant, bleed off the pressure. Close the hydrant back up, okay? Then you're gonna wanna take your wrenches move down to the base and we're going to loosen the four bolts. Now you're just going to loosen them. Just, just back off the nut a little bit. You don't take them all the way off. Then you're going to take your op wrench and we're going to open the hydrant. We recommend about uh, three turns. You want to go about three turns. Now, what I'm doing here when I'm turning this, two, three. What I've done now is the way the mechanics of this work, I've now kind of spread out the hydrant from the lower barrel by opening it up because I've pushed and I've actually lifted this up. So, now what you do is you get behind it, right here in the hose nozzles, and rotate it. Now I got it pointing the direction I need it. The curb's here now. Now we're good to go. Now, go back, take your op wrench, close it. And now what I'm doing is I'm pulling the hydrant back together. You just snug it up. So now what I've done is pulled it back together. Now I go back down to the base. Tighten up my four bolts. Make sure my caps are on good. Open the isolation valve back up. Pressurize the system. Make sure this is sealed down here at the base. And now you're rotated. That's how simple it is to rotate this. And you can actually rotate this 360 degrees. Either way. So super, super easy to maintain these.